Good morning. Hello. Ah! Okay, where do I start? I've had so much happen and I haven't been talking about it at all. So this is me making a YouTube video because I've seen and I've heard and I've looked at all of your comments saying that I need to make a YouTube video again, a follow up. To be honest, I haven't been making a YouTube video because I can't even comprehend or put into words what I'm going through right now as far as like surgery and the process of moving forward with everything. So. I've had a lot happen this past week. It was November 3rd, which would mark one year of the accident. Uh, Chloe, my wonderful girlfriend, literally made the cutest picnic on November 3rd and she called it Happy Smile Day. Um, maybe some of you guys have seen it, I don't really know, but I'll be putting some videos up. Uh, she got all my lovely family members together and my best friends and it was the best day ever from the worst day that has ever happened. Um, oh, I finally found a doctor. I'm working with a doctor. I have surgery coming up. I have surgery coming up really soon and I am very mixed feeling about it. I'm excited to get surgery to begin to heal again and work with this doctor. I'm also really sad to kind of stop my life again and have to heal and to go through the whole healing process. I feel like I'm such an active person. So for me to be out for a little bit, really it hurts my head mentally for me to have to sit out and not do my activities that I do every day. Cause I, it, I mean, if you ask anybody that knows me, I have the most energy ever. I just always have to be doing something. So for me to be out for a little bit really puts me in a bad headspace. Not mentally, I don't even know what I'm saying. It just puts me in a bad headspace because I want to be so active. Anyway, with that being said, here are some clips and random things that I've done the last week, and I'll be explaining how the surgery will be done. You're freaking. <laughs> I was making the conscious effort That's my doctor. That's my face. Okay, so basically they took a mold in my face and we're gonna look at it right now. And it's the last checkup before your surgery, right? Yeah, I have surgery on November 17th. Whoa. And right, it's not gonna look like a perfect lip. It's just the foundation. So, but one part of it, the inner part, then becomes the new inside mouth. Okay, sorry about the jelly and then bite down. Sounds like wind, like a shh. That's the vein. Veins don't have a pulse, so it sounds like a shh continuous. That. As it gets deeper. So this is why, right? If I do it this way, you know, you shake someone's hand. I know you're left hand, you're right hand, but you shake someone's hand, it's in the shadow. That's why I specifically wanted to borrow this instead of this. Mm -hmm. Because we could borrow this, but then any time that, you know, yeah. you're like, do this, you gesture, you're going to see this skin graft there. So I'm going to try to hide it underneath here. Does he see how it bunches here? I couldn't tell if this was actually the remnant of pneumonia. And some of it may be, but I think we're going to reflect it back in. So this all here needs to reflect back in. Okay. To make a long story short, because this is a very complex surgery with a lot going on, they have to cut my arm open, take a main artery, take this skin, fold it, put this skin here. But that artery that they took from here needs to supply blood. So they are going to cut a little bit here, take the artery underneath my skin, connect it to here so that I have blood flow for the new skin. It's called a skin graft. It is very complex and my doctor is the best. I finally found a doctor and I'm working with him. He has the best heart. He's literally so open-minded. So he just thinks so beyond the box. It's amazing. Um, he's creative. He's artsy. That's something that I really, really found that I wanted in a doctor. So I'm so happy I found it. It took a year 
but it was well worth the wait. Um, coming out of the surgery, I am not gonna be able to move my mouth at all. So I have to have a feeding tube up my nose. Um, I have to be on a liquid diet. I'm going to be in the hospital for five days after the surgery. It's gonna be a lot. Um, so I'm gonna need all the prayers I can get. Um, but I am beginning to get ready for it. It's coming up really soon. It's literally next week. So I'm putting this out here just to follow up, give you guys a little bit of what's happening in my life. I'm sure I will be, re I'm sure I will be recording in the hospital as well. Um, yeah, but thank you for being on this journey with me. I know that you guys have wanted videos. I don't really have a lot to put out there, but this is just me saying hi, popping in, letting you know my life is great. Anyway, bye. I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget to hug someone you love today.